In the following video, I will be instructing my dad how to properly perform a pendulum exercise, which is typically prescribed for an in individual recovering from a rotator cuff injury. Pendulum exercises work to preserve and increase a person's range of motion at the shoulder joint. They help to reduce stiffness experienced around the injury area. They also help to alleviate pain around the injury area and they actually increase blood flow to the shoulder joint, which is very important in a person's recovery process. Uh, another thing that's important to know is the exercises are completed passively. Um, the patient will not be actively moving the joint or the muscles that surround it. Um, and that is good to know because it helps to prevent a secondary injury. As I discussed in the previous video, I will be instructing my dad how to properly perform a pendulum exercise. And for the sake of the video, we're going to say that the injury is within his right shoulder. So what, you, a. what you will want to do first is face me. And I'm going to have you bend 90 degrees at the waist. So your back should be nice and flat. Yep. And then you can go ahead and rest this left arm on the table. The table will be your base of support for the exercise. Go ahead and drop this right arm. Just let it hang. Don't put any pressure on it. Don't worry about trying to hold it up. And what you're actually going to do is gently sway your upper body either side to side or in little circles until your arm starts moving in a circle. Good. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to do 10 circles in each direction. So after your arm has circled 10 times one direction, you'll want to kind of shift your upper body so that it moves in the opposite direction. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and shift your right oh. I apologize for my dog, Cassie. <laughs> He's a little obnoxious right now. Good. Ten. Perfect. So you can go ahead and stand up. And as I stated in the previous video as well, this exercise is especially important for a person with a rotator cuff injury because it is passive. So he was not actively moving his arm in any way. He was simply letting the gravity of his upper body movement carry his arm. Um, and that makes him less prone to a secondary injury. The number of sets and repetitions or the amount of time that you need to spend um, participating in this exercise is left to your primary care physician or therapist to decide. They usually make that decision based on the nature or extent of your injury. Um, while I was performing research, a pretty common suggestion that I found is that you need to complete the exercise for two to four minutes every day up to five times a day. Um, so anywhere between three and five, I think, was the range. The exercises can also be completed from a seated position, but again, that recommendation is up to either your physician or therapist. So with any injury and any treatment that accommodates that injury, you should always be um, following the instructions provided to you by your physician or therapist or anyone else on your healthcare team.